Top of the welcome to the power play with CJ. Today we're focusing on Stefan Matteau pretty much quitting his junior team, the uh, Blainville Armada, where his father, Stefan, is uh, also is the assistant coach. Um, but this has been probably the last, you know, call it year for Stefan Matteau. It's been a really weird year hockey-wise. Slipped into the first round. I thought New Jersey got a forfeit their first round pick either this year, last year, this year, next year, or... 2011, they had the option to the fourth pick. I thought they should have forfeited last year. They had the 29th pick, obviously losing to L.A. in the finals. They didn't do it. They took Mattel. I said, you know, okay, good move. Um, you know, he goes up to juniors. He he was originally committed to North Dakota and then committed to Blainville. Like I said, his dad's a coach there. And then goes up there. You know, his plays are right. I mean, his, the numbers really don't jump off the page. I do 28 points in 35 regular season games. Gets cut from the U.S. World Junior team. And then... Is invited to the Devils camp once the lockout ends. Makes a team, plays 17 games in the NHL, has three three points in uh, 17 games, and then goes back to Blainville, wraps it up, and then has nine points through 11 playoff games, which is his best um, output, you know, in juniors, you know, best output over you know given length of time in juniors. And then um, you know, last night took a slashing penalty, two-handed someone uh, in the back of the legs, and then. Got, got benched in the third period and then was forced to take the fan boss home, which was humiliating for um, young Master Mateau. A uh, really awkward situation when your dad's an assistant coach. I, I've been there where I've been benched by my own father. I've also been sent out, sent to the locker room by my own father, too. Both times were warranted. I was shouting obscenities at uh, opponents and officials, so can't say my, my own mail was warranted. But, you know, this goes, you know, and supposedly you quit the team. They're having a press conference tomorrow. Uh, playing Villas. So, you know, what's all this about? What do the Devils do? Do the Devils bring them to the NHL? Absolutely not. I think that's reinforcing negative behavior. I think next year he would have been in the AHL either way, not the NHL or not juniors. Um, I think he would have got up a little bit next year, but from what I've seen of him, the game definitely needs to be refined. He um, He's still rough around the edges. I think his discipline has really been hit or miss. I think he's played well at times, but I think other times, we're talking about playing well, playing in control. And uh, but other times he's just a liability to his own team with his recklessness up there, and you know you like to see the reckless abandoned, but not to the point where he's taking stupid penalties like last night. And um, you know it's definitely it's it's gonna be tough because I mean, the Devils are so you know high on the horse with drafting guys with character, but you know they realistically could have him and John Merrill on the uh, Albany Devils together, so it could be a very dicey situation for Lou and company. But we'll see how it all works out. Um, like I said, I I he's got a bright I See, I got like a bipolar thing with him where I, where I see him play one time and I, you know, I love him, but then another time he takes a stupid penalty or you know makes a dumb pass or something. And it's like, really, Stefan? But um, you know, it's just one of those things. I, I still think he'll be a top nine forward in the NHL. This will be in you know, the next great power forward, thirty goal scorer. I don't see that, and uh, you know, like I said, it's not a knock on him, but I just think, in retrospect, would the Devils have been better off forfeiting last year's pick? Probably. I, I think they should have at the time, but not to be disrespectful to Louis Mateau, but yeah. I mean, because they're going to pick a lot higher this year because they're going to miss the playoffs. And then next year, who knows, 2015 or 2014, excuse me. So we'll see how it all works out. But it's a dicey situation. There'll be more coming tomorrow morning. But I figured I'd keep everyone in the loop. Anyway, that's on this episode of The Power Play with CJ on Stefan Mateau leaving his junior team. See two for more episodes for the season and beyond. Later, guys.